Hey everyone, it's Benny One, and I'm back at you with a movie review today, and I went and saw Tenet last night, everybody. That is right, so we are going to be diving into Tenet, and don't worry, everybody, this is going to be a spoiler-free review. So, Tenet is Christopher Nolan's latest film. It is a spy espionage movie with action and some time-bending shit going on in it, everybody. That is right. This movie is crazy. It is nuts. The things that you will be thinking about after you watch this movie are nuts and just what happened in the movie. So that's all we're going to talk about as far as the story and the plot because I'm going to keep this spoiler free and it's really hard to talk about this movie um, without spoiling shit. So the story is done. We're not talking about that anymore because I want to keep this spoiler free because this movie needs to be experienced in a movie theater on an IMAX screen because Christopher Nolan shoots movies in IMAX. So you got to watch this in IMAX. So like many movies, this movie got delayed. It was supposed to come out in July. That's the month that Nolan likes to release his movies. So um, that's it. We're not going to talk about that anymore because we're going to keep saying that with a bunch of movies that keep coming out. So, And I did notice that this movie has fans very divisive. People love it or they freaking hate it. I was reading stuff online last night i'm in the category of loving it that's for damn sure um i do agree with people um that have told me like m for movies and other people have said that this is his best movie since inception i would agree with that it most definitely is his best movie since inception that is for damn sure i would probably say this movie is behind The Dark Knight and Inception as far as his movies, but right behind it. So, And that's only with one viewing because this movie is going to take multiple views like Inception. You're going to have to watch this movie like three or four times to just grasp and understand everything that I, you fully see in this movie. It's that crazy. Like, I understood what was going on in the movie about halfway through maybe a little bit more um, in the movie they do it's not that confusing but Nolan likes to take your brain and play with it in these movies of his and I love that and he was swinging for the fences in this one everybody he went crazy in this movie it just I loved what he did with the plot I love that he's not scared to go big and go bold with these movie ideas and test us and make us think about shit in his movies like I I feel like it's we're all privileged to go watch a director make movies like this that just aren't your same old Hollywood blockbuster flicks like I love his movies because they're just different they're full of action they're full it's they're full of thrill and suspense and fighting explosions but he makes you think about his movies like he really makes you think about them and I love that about Nolan so and I do think this is Nolan's biggest movie to date that he has done as far as the set pieces and the globe trotting uh, locations that they went to like and the practical effects you guys Nolan loves doing practical effects I think he his movies are probably some of the best movies that use practical effects today and actually merge them with CG, but he always tries to do everything practically. And the movie looks amazing, you guys. Like, uh, amazing. He shoots movies in IMAX as much as he possibly can. Uh, you know the, the hallway fight scene in Inception where it's crazy rotating and everything? There are multiple scenes of time-bending things in this movie like that are very awesome and similar to that hallway scene in Inception but there are multiple scenes in this movie like that this movie is crazy you guys I got a lot of Bond fill and vibes from this movie I feel like this was Christopher Nolan maybe trying to make somewhat of a James Bond movie but through his eyes um and I love it I thought it was great it just it has the like it has that feel of a James Bond movie at it at some points because there's there's a part in the middle of the movie where like our second act of the movie kicks into gear like a lot of James Bond movies do like they do their first few missions and then they get really get on the mission that sets them to the course of the end of the movie that's a, that's where I got a lot of the James Bond feelings from and there are some great standout 
performances in this movie, you guys. Uh, Kenneth uh, Branagh, he is great in this movie, you guys. Like, great. He plays a vile human being in this movie. He goes dark. Very dark in this movie. Robert Pattinson is awesome in this movie. He actually had a little bit of comedy stuff to it, so which was kind of surprising, but he, he was very lighthearted at times, um, and his character by the end of the movie is just, it's really cool, it, it's, it's just awesome, they were the two standouts for me, uh, you guys, this movie's nuts, it is crazy, I, I really want to go watch it again, but I'm not going to go pay almost $20 to go watch it again, unfortunately, <laughs> so, but it's going to take probably two or three more views, when it does come out to buy eventually for me to fully grasp this crazy movie. it I haven't walked out of a movie feeling and thinking the way that I have since Inception. Which is my favorite Christopher Nolan movie besides The Dark Knight obviously. But Inception is probably my favorite Christopher Nolan movie though. Like I, I've just, I've been thinking about that movie. The shit that was going on in that movie. The time... The time-bending thing that he does in this movie, because he takes a concept of this action thriller time-bending thing that has been done in movies, but he puts his Christopher Nolan spin on it, so he adds new shit to it. Because you go into a Nolan movie, you're going to see something new. Like, you will see something new in a Christopher Nolan movie. He's not going to do the same exact carbon copy or whatever, or even close to a carbon copy of this type of movie he will give you something new and that's what i love about christopher nolan whether he fully lands it or not at least the guy tries and he tests us in these movies and he gives us these stunning epic thrillers movies that look amazing you guys so i'm giving this movie a 9.5 out of 10 it's not quite perfect for me but it, it's damn close, you guys. Like a 9.5 out of 10, everybody. So that was my review for Tenet. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, if you're new to the channel uh, and you like what you see here, hit that subscribe button for me. Don't forget to hit the like button, everybody. Appreciate it. Helps my channel out a lot. And I'll be catching you all on the tube laters because I have spoken.